So this video is going to show you how to download and install SPSS on your own device. You can access SPSS through apps anywhere, but you're much better off having a version of it downloaded onto your own computer because then you don't have to worry about internet connectivity and you can also save files a lot easier. You can copy and paste outputs into Word documents and a lot easier and so on. So I would really recommend doing this. To do this, we go on our we start on our computer services website and you can see we've got software here. So if we scroll down here, if you want to go to the download software, install on your own PC or Mac, and then we go to our log into the university software downloads portal, and log in with your username and password, and you can see we've got the tab for SPSS. Now you can see there's four things here, two of them are AMOS, that's a different package, you don't want to look at them. And then you've got IBM Statistics 26 or 25. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. 26 is the most up to date at the moment. However, for all intents and purposes, for what you'd use it for, it's identical. So let's just choose one of them. So here's 25. And you can choose your platform if you've got it on a Mac and on Windows. So it's exactly the same process anyway. Then we add to cart. Then we go to checkout. Now, you can see it gives us code. This is really important. This is how you license it later on, and I'll show you how to do that. I've blared this out a bit, just so I'm not sharing around the license codes, but we copy and paste that for later on. So we just copy that, we can use that later. And we download our SPSS. So we've got the different versions, depends on the number of bits your computer is if it's the 64 or the 32 bit. Now if you don't know if your computer is 32 bit or 64 bit, you just go to your settings and system about and you'll see you'll get system type 64 bit operating system in my case. So I download the 64 bit version save the file so once it's finally downloaded click on it to open it and then we start installing and then we got this install shield wizard just click Next, accept the terms of license agreements. Of course, you're going to read all of that in great detail. Do you want essentials for Python? You don't really need it, so I'll just click no. I'm just going to put extra stuff on your computer you're not going to use. That's just the location it's going to be installed to. And click install. Click OK, and then we just click finish. And you can see we've got tick start license authorization wizard now because you want that. You finish that and now it does the licensing we've got an authorized user license let me click next enter code and because earlier on I copied that code we can just do that click next and we've successfully done the license in there click next your license is effective next time we start the product. Finish. So now I have SPSS installed. Now, if you did forget to copy the license before, we can just go way back to our CSD page and we can see software license codes, SPSS and AMOS. We'd have to put in our username and password again. We go through that and it'll have a list of the passcodes. Just make sure you get the right passcode for your version of SPSS, whether it's 25 or 26. As I say, it doesn't really matter. 